Good day everyone, this is UD back again with another adventure here in Cairo. Now this building I'm looking at was once a hotel and it converted into a funeral parlor. It closed down due to a, a fire on the third level. Um, I believe the owner is trying to restore it, but the process is really slow. So uh, we're gonna go inside and take a look at what's left behind. I'm not sure if there's anything, but uh, we shall see. So let's head inside. So this is where I guess you would register your names for the service, the funeral service. So what is this here? Oh, songs for funeral songs. Hmm. And I'm going to assume this is one, two. Oh, no. You know what? This is, um, here, let me go to the front. A guidebook of United States coins. The 23rd edition of 1970. Oh, so they go state by state here. So here's Connecticut, Rhode Island. Hmm. All right, here we have a typewriter. And what is this gadget here? Never grow old. Superior Funeral Supply Company, or Corporation. Hey, out of Cleveland, Ohio. That's what's up, the 330. Wonder how old this is, it's pretty cool. Here we have the hotel lobby. Well, the old hotel lobby. I don't know what the funeral home used this part for. Uh, you can see the lighting fixtures up here. A fireplace and two mirrors. And the furniture. Hey Scott, you have any idea uh, what the funeral home used this area for? This was a viewing room. The right. viewing room? Okay. Yeah, the viewing rooms. All right. Viewing room here, and then there's another viewing room around the corner. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. All right. So here's that little information, and here we have right here is a casket holder for a child. Casket cart. Yeah. 
Okay. Casket cart. There we go. Oh, let's see the little uh, design here on the lamp. Here we have more furniture around the corner. Still in good condition. Uh, what we have here, just a few chairs in that room and it's empty. Now, wow, here we go. This is interesting. Now, I don't have my glasses, so I'm going to try to read this. Name Virgil Stamps? Oh, all I have to do is look over here to the right. Virgil Stamps. Precious Memories. I wonder what this says. I feel the touch of hands so warm and tender. They're leading me. And past we trust. I don't know what, what is this? Is this a song? I think somebody was writing a song. Yeah, yep. So what is this book right here? Just precious memories. Let's turn another page, okay. Yeah, this is another song book. Wonder when this was made. Let's see if we can take a look here and see. In the back, maybe? No. Oh, the, the front will have when it was made. The, keep, 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 open the cover. Keep going. I think he saw it. 19 yeah right there 1941 this one's, this one's 1932 this book right here bottom left hand corner yep thanks Scott yeah. my faith looks up to thee all right close this up All right, let's see who, what kind of piano this is. Henry Miller. And it still works. And here we have a Bible. And I believe eight track tapes or eight tracks. Sorry. The sweet by and by. That's crystal clear water. Hmm. Hey, you know what guys? I think these go to the uh, the mach machine we seen in the front of the building. No, that's a reflection. That's a coffin. There's a coffin down here. Oh god. Okay. I believe this is the first time I ever found one of these in an abandoned building. Oh, there's a coffin? Yes! God, it's floating. <laughs> oh, it's a crystal, a crystal lamp. All right. Hey, let's go upstairs. You ready, folks? I am kind of excited. Kind of? Oh, you don't sound it. <laughs> All right, let's light up this second viewing area. So we have more furniture. Man, I wonder what kind of material this is. It's kind of a little rough. 
I mean, it looks soft, it appears soft, but it's rough. But yeah, here's another one of those casket carts. Sorry, I had to think for a second. So another casket cart and you know, one of these little small podium things. Man, there's tons of mold on there. But yeah, this um, this area is pretty big. And Scott just informed me not too long ago that there is a casket down in the basement. Um, the basement is currently flooded. So I wonder how that's gonna go. Yeah, check this out. There's flowers and stuff printed on this wood. Hmm. Not really a fan of that, but well. You know what? I didn't really want to go this way. Oh yeah, I did. All right. Here is the basement area. So this is where the coffin is. And I believe they said it's floating in here. So let's see. Um, I'm currently on the third step right here. And yeah, you can see it is completely flooded here. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see. But yeah, this area tends to um, flood a lot. which would suck really bad. What's that? There's no. Scott and Aaron straight ahead. <laughs> Check this out. airline really cool TV now I don't know if you guys seen the abandoned house I did in Cleveland I found one just like this I think it was a little older and it was like in extremely good condition and I believe uh, it did get destroyed because the house got demolished but yeah you can see these old knobs Pretty cool. It's amazing that um, how far we advanced in that technology. Yeah, now we're in 4K and about to be heading to 8K here in a minute. All right, so this part right here was the morgue, I believe. Now, um, Scott had told me that this room was used for some kind of cosmetology class. So this is why you see these chairs here. So yeah, this used to be the morgue, but we can't tell right now. But, but what you can see is, I mean, I'm trying to move this chair right here, sorry. What you can see is like old remnants probably of, you know, from the hotel.
like this little mechanism right here to open up this window. It's pretty cool, huh? This drywall right here was put in by the funeral home. So if you imagine the main stairwell would have been open. Mm -hmm. Over here in this corner, I wanted to check out this chair. Yeah, definitely vintage, I'll tell you that. All right. What is this room here? Is it a... okay? It's I think it's nailed shut, so I can't open up this one. But man, this little hallway seems a little creepy. All right, guys, here we have a hotel room. Now, I do not want to bore you with empty rooms. Majority of the rooms are empty here. But I do want to show you some cool stuff. Um, here, let's see, straight ahead here. Just some small, um, just paying attention to details here. Um, like this here. I mean, I really hope, I'm gonna assume that the owner is gonna save, try to save a lot of these doors and stuff. And this is when dentine was five cents. And there's another, oh, what's this? Oh, baby stuff. Um, yeah, this one too. Yeah, I wonder what this mechanism, or this has a spring on it. So I wonder what this was here for. I mean, it looks like it moves up and down, you know? So I wonder what it was. I don't think it was for, you know, like the window, like that, the first room we went to. <clears throat> and if you see down here, there's a huge latch right here to lock the door from the bottom, should I add. So, yeah, very interesting place to explore. Um, did I go this way? N no, but yeah, there's a bathroom and I believe this was probably like a shower. So toilet and shower over there. And uh, um, yeah, I believe that's about it, everyone. Let me check, uh, yeah, let me take a look in here in this bathroom here. Yeah, I think, I think we covered the whole entire building. Um, Yep, just another empty room. Yeah, so, yeah, I really appreciate the support, guys. This is um, it's really amazing. Uh, 
I'm sure we have some more places to go see today. So I'm going to wrap this one up and uh, head to the other, other location. So, yeah, thanks again, guys. And um, I'll see you here real soon. Take care.